back up on a nigga, ask his ass about the beef with him. Speak, nigga. Before I spark your ass with heat, nigga. Run up on your ass with this carby. You can't speak, nigga. Beach, mister. My second time send you some beach, mister. Mama keep on bitching cause I used up all the beach, nigga. First nigga was down bad in reverse, nigga. Walked up on his ass with that 40 set in church with him. Second nigga had up a hand when he caught me snippin'. Walkin' had his hand on that 30, but ain't bust a nigga. Third nigga was an early bird when I curved the nigga. Spurge a nigga. Got him hit up early on that Saturday. Kill a murder victim. Got me yelling murder like she murder. Nigga hurt him, mister. No, you bitches nigga wanna murder nigga. Bury mister. But I will not go out with this third nigga. Murder victim. Got me yelling murder like she murder nigga. What it do, YouTube? What the business is? Now, this gonna be a real quick video, but another crazy video with nothing but true facts detailing the crazy war and the war that did stem off after the death of YG Mester. Now, this is just one of many wars that stemmed off. Now, the wars that did stem off so happened to be wars within the biggest of the biggest names within the rap game. 42 Doug being one of them, but that'll be another video that I touch on. This video is the war that stemmed off between NBA Youngboy, Sada Baby, and T Grizzly. And it just so happened to start with the death of YG Mister. Now let's get into it now. It's all known that Sada Baby had songs and had issues, had videos, and had a lot of things that were stemmed and aimed at NBA Youngboy in a derogative and disrespectful manner. Now, with that being said, it led to an event of Sada Baby being in the studio, and the studio was Young Scooter's studio, you know? Now, the guys that did this weren't BMG, but they were under a branch of BMG. You know, they were the younger guys of Young Scooter's people. Now, they didn't like the issue of Sada Baby having issues with Young Boy, you know? Nobody did, especially not Young Scooter. Now, I'm not saying Young Scooter had anything to do with this, but this led to Sada Baby being robbed. Now, Sada Baby was robbed and stripped of his jewelry and his pieces. And this is the same incident of Doughboy that he is speaking on within his beef of Sada Baby when he said that Sada Baby was robbed and he ran into the studio yelling at Doughboy and that's when they got into it about this whole situation. Now, Sada Baby was robbed of all his jewelry. Now, I don't know how many jewelry, uh, how many chains he had around his neck, watch, bracelet, None of that. I just know all this started with those chains that were took. Now, those chains that were took were all bought by T Grizzly. No chain was bought by Sada Baby. All those chains he had around his neck were bought by T Grizzly. Now, it was one chain that wasn't bought by T Grizzly, and it was given to him. And that chain just so happened to be a memorial chain that had YG Mester's face on it. Now, that was the wrong chain that took. Out of all those chains that you took off Sada Baby's neck, you should have left him with that one because that was the chain that started it all. All right. Now, Sada Baby did call T Grizzly on the phone letting him know that, hey, man, I just got robbed. You know, what's up? Can you help me? Whoop de whoop. T Grizzly basically said, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that and hung up on Sada Baby face. That's when Sada Baby and T Grizzly started beefing. That's when Sada Baby got on Instagram and denounced his ties with anything that had to do with Grizzly Gang or T Grizzly. You know, that's that's the same time, same night that happened when he got robbed. He denounced his ties with anything that had to do with any of them, right? All right, now, fast forward, some people did pull up that had something to do with YG Mester as far as his camp to retrieve those chains back. Now, when they pulled up, they pulled up heavy. They only pulled up a couple deep, but they pulled up heavy. And when they pulled up, everybody in their studio scattered like roaches. This is a true story. They hopped out with ARs because these weren't no rappers. But they was defending a rapper who was Sada Baby because it was all in the same camp. All right, now, fast forward after that. Miami. Now, this is a legend right here because it's still open. But we're going to still touch on it. But this is all a legend. Now, fast forward to Miami. The shootout that happens with... Alleged T Grizzly and alleged NBA Youngboy. Now that had nothing to do with T Grizzly and NBA Youngboy, but it had more so everything to do with Sada Baby being robbed. Now I'm not gonna say no names and get too heavy off in it, cause someone, no one did lose their life and no one has been arrested for it, no cart for it. Now, but I will say is that was a shootout that stemmed 
from within one camp and another camp, but it had nothing to do with what y'all think it had anything to do with. It had more so to do with those chains being took off his neck, but not just any chain, that one specifically particular chain.